Here's a computer that cost $500, but it has enough power to support 10, 20, and 30 users. And when I say 30 users, I mean it can support 30 full PC experiences, all from one hard drive, a few gigabytes of memory, and one CPU. That's the power that's available in today's PCs. The users don't need their own PCs. All they need are monitors, keyboards, mice, and speakers. And end computing L-series virtual desktops make it all work at a fraction of what it would cost to give each user their own full PC. Now let's take a closer look at the L-series and how easy it is to set up. First, install the end computing vSpace software into the shared PC. Next, connect the access device to the user's standard peripherals, the monitor, the keyboard, the mouse, and the speakers. And finally, connect the access device to the shared PC over a standard Ethernet network. That's it. Here we have 30 users all sharing a single PC and a few gigabytes of memory. And the processor still has power to spare. There's plenty of power here to give each user their own virtual workspace that acts and feels like their own PC. And this is all possible at a fraction of the cost of buying everyone their own PCs. You save a lot of money with end computing virtual desktops, but the savings don't stop there. For one thing, L-series access devices are so durable that your budget for repairs will go way down. And each L-series access device requires only 5 watts of electricity per user. A PC? 110 watts. So this means lower electric bills and less heat, which translates to lower air conditioning costs. End computing virtual desktops also drastically reduce the amount of e-waste you'll be generating. Every three or so years, PCs weighing up to 20 pounds end up in landfills. But end computing has a better way. Our access devices, they only weigh a few ounces. And you don't have to upgrade them as often as the shared PCs. So between the electricity savings and the reduced e-waste, it's easy to see why end computing is the greenest computing solution on Earth. Millions of people in over 80 countries are already benefiting. From classrooms to offices to factories to internet cafes, people are getting computing access for a fraction of the cost.